more complex. However, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't really matter the complexity of the problem. We're following our sequence, and all they're asking us to do is find the first four terms. So all they're asking us to do is find a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. So we're just going to follow, again, the same patterns. We're going to take our term number, plug it in for our variable to find the value of that term. So a sub 1, we're just going to simply have negative 1 to the first power times 1 over 1 plus 1. For here, I have negative 1 squared times 2 over 2 plus 1. Here, I'm going to have negative 1 cubed times 3 over 3 plus 1. And over here, I'll have negative 1 to the fourth power times 4 over 4 plus 1. All right. Now, what's important about this, and the reason why I chose this problem, is I need you guys to understand something that's really important. All right. First of all, you guys notice we have a negative number, and we have our variable is raised to the power. All right. Now, please understand negative 1 to the first power just means negative 1 multiplied by itself one time, which is just negative 1, right? And then 1, divi one divided by 1 plus 1 is 1 half. So therefore, this answer is going to equal a negative 1 half, right? Over here, my fraction is 2 thirds. But now, notice negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, right? Which is now positive 1. So therefore, it's going to be positive 1 times 2 thirds, which just equals 2 thirds. All right? And what I want you guys to understand is whenever you take a negative number and raise it to an even power, you're always going to get a positive value. Whenever you take a negative number and raise it to an odd power, it's always going to be negative. And let's go and take a look at this. So now we have 3 divided by 3 plus 1 is 3 fourths, right? Well, now it's negative 1 multiplied by itself three times. So negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Times negative 1 again is now going to be negative 1. Negative 1 times 3 fourths is negative 3 fourths. And then obviously we know that now, oh, I don't even need a computer. I know it's just raised to the fourth power. That's even. So therefore, this is going to be positive 1. 4 divided by 4 plus 1 is 5. So 4 fifths times positive 1 is 4 fifths. And I just want to make sure you guys understand and see this, that the key to finding alternating signs or alternating values a lot of times is you guys are going to look at is going to be this negative 1 raised to an n power. And you can see how it alternates the signs. All right? And this has become very important, especially when we need to go ahead and find the rule. All right? So there is an example for you. Cool? All right. Wow, you guys look. Super excited today. Man.